Eureka Springs is a beautiful town in North Arkansas that is rich in art and unique buildings that make it one of a kind. In the middle of town, right off of Main Street, sits a vivid work of art that completely transforms the area around it. Hi, my name is Nikki, and for my art in a day, I chose the Cash and Borden mural in historic downtown Eureka Springs, Arkansas. An artist named Doug Myerskoff created the final design for the mural, but the ideas behind his design came from two drawings created by teenage students from the local high school art program named Kyla Boardman and Kennedy Cash. This mural was funded and completed in an endeavor known as the UP Project. This project was a fundraiser specific to the town of Eureka Springs in an effort to renew an ordinary set of stairs into a beautiful work of art that the locals can enjoy every day. Many organizations such as the Eureka Springs City Council and the Eureka Springs Historic District Commission supported the project. In April of 2015, the project met its fundraising goal of $1,000 and volunteers began to work alongside Myerskoff to paint the mural. I think that is what makes the mural so groundbreaking, both for its vivid visual appeal, but also for the way it unified the community of Eureka Springs by finding a common interest, art. The Cash and Boardman mural is a fascinating piece of art because of the formal elements as well. The curved and wavy lines of the tree and the water somewhat juxtapose the repeating cube shapes of the actual stairs. The vertical tree and river combined with the actual staircase creates one point perspective. The use of complementary colors also strongly influences the personality of this mural. The mural's lines and colors create a very whimsical and vibrant work of art. There is also meaning behind the design of the mural and the ideas it portrays. I think Myerskoff is trying to make a statement about the urbanization of their town and the need to change industrialized areas back into beautiful spaces of nature. Not only does he make a staircase into a mural, which shows his desire to make a functional thing beautiful, but he also makes the content of the mural correspond to natural elements, like the tree and the water. All around the world, landscapes are being turned into concrete jungles, and Myerskoff wants to reference that fact and encourage people to realize the importance of nature. The extensive use of color and the whimsical lines used to create the mural express similar techniques used during the artistic movements of Fauvism and Impressionism. Especially the riverside of the stairs and the small strokes of paint reference the style of Monet during Impressionism. The form of art as a mural has existed for many centuries throughout history. Prehistoric civilizations painted on cave walls, early Christian peoples painted images in the catacombs, and during the Renaissance, the walls of the Brancacci Chapel were painted as public displays of art. All of these are examples of art that helped shape the current idea of murals that is portrayed in the Cash and Boardman mural. I find murals to be very influential because of the huge audience they reach in a very casual way. Doug Myerskoff and all the supporters of the UP project helped transform two simple drawings into a piece of art that is viewed by a whole community each and every day. This encouraged creativity among students, but also among the entire town of Eureka Springs. What was once a common gray concrete set of stairs is now a vivid work of art that will last for years to come.